Hello YouTubers. Let's take a look at the uh, lead hardness tester, how it's made and how it works. And then I've got five different bullets sitting back here. These two were made cast by one company that makes commercial cast bullets. Um, I bought them at a gun show. I'm not sure who it was that made them. And this is the 4570 bullet that I've been loading. It's made by a different caster. And then these two were cast by me out of uh, wheel weights, but dropped in water right out of the mold block to case harden them a little. So we'll see what how they stand up here. First, let's look at the uh, tester. I cut this. Let me get a tape measure. This is six inches long and I squared up the ends on my mill and then the sides are three and a half inches and I squared up all the ends on that too. So it's all squared nice and even and flush. Drilled and tapped and put uh, socket headed uh, Allen screws in there. I mounted this uh, little bar here and bent it to get it lined up where it needed to be to push on the end of the bolt there and mounted a it's just kind of a cheap Enco dial indicator reads in thousands this is drilled and tapped for three quarter ten knurled this is where the spring fits and this is the part that slides through here this is just a valve spring a friend of mine at work gave me. It slips right on there like that. And this is the nut that screws on here. And it just slips in here. It's not a real tight fit. But once the spring gets some tension on it, it doesn't wiggle much. This was just a 3 quarter 10 bolt that I rounded off the flats of the bolt, knurled it, and then flattened off the front end. And it just screws in here, and that's the adjusting bolt to uh, snug up the piece of lid. I've got to adjust this to where it reads zero. Screw this in. Now this is the pointy end. It, I got my little angle gauge out and it's a 50 degree angle threaded 3 quarter 10 so one revolution of this is going to go in one tenth of an inch what would that would be one complete revolution on my indicator but since that point is going into the lead it doesn't quite make it all the way around and that gives you the reading for the hardness it has a line right here that I line up with the line right there. And you have to have it backed out far enough that you can screw it in one revolution. So, this is a bullet I cast for my 45 Long Colt. Let's test it. I like the, the, this one because it's got a lot of really big flat nose on it there. So I've got pressure on it. It's staying in place right there. Let me turn it this way. One revolution. Came out to 70 six which is point oh seven six point oh seven six I just wrote my 45 long colt LC now I'll back that out one turn and you can see the little dent that it put in it now we'll try a bullet that I cast for my 
45 ACP. I'm screwing that out and trying to, to get the base of it nice and flat against here. The points on there, one revolution, and it's 76.076. My 45 ACP is what I wrote down read the same thing. That's kind of encouraging. Nice little divot. Now this is a 45, I think it's 195 grain. This one here was a 200 grain. I think this is 195. I can't remember exactly. I have to look at the box again. Okay, we got it in there. Let's give it one revolution. Okay, that is 77, so it's just a hair harder. 0 0.077. I put commercial 4580 or 45 ACP. Now I've got a commercial kind of a round nose with a little flat on it. 45 long colt. There we go. Oops, I turned the wrong thing to center it up. Or snug it up. That's good. One revolution. Seventy seven. Commercial forty five long colt. Those were both from the same company. Now this is one that I bought from someone else and it's for the forty five seventy. So let's see, since that's a rifle round, let's see if it's any harder than these uh, pistol. It's 80. 0 .08. 0 .08. Commercial. I put commercial 4570. You have to have a microscope to tell the difference of the, in the divot. Hope you can read that. These are my 45 long Colts and 45 ACP out of pure wheel weights. The commercial bullets were just a little harder and then the bullet made for rifle was a bit harder than that. So now I got a, uh, a standard I guess you could say to shoot for to harden my wheel weights I may just go to the point oh .08 for all my bullets so that way I can uh, use them for everything and not have to designate certain groups of power lead for uh, rifle and certain for uh, pistol Try the old thumb test. I can't feel any difference in any of them. Eh, mine are just a little softer. But there you go, some more information on the lead hardness tester, how it's going to work and how I'm using it to uh, come up with a lead hardness for my casting. A 
Let's test this one. I think this in here is the uh, pure linotype. That's 85.085. So that should harden things up a bit. I've got quite a bit of lion pipe, more than I thought I had. This was uh, wheel weights. Let's see if it comes up the same as my bullets. Actually, that came out to 880, but uh, they say that the longer this lead sets, the harder it gets, or it will harden to a certain harden a certain amount after a certain amount of time, and then it just settles down. This is the pure lead. Yeah, that's like 72. When I go on this uh, Route 127 garage sale episode or escapade here in a couple weeks, one of the things I oh great, one of the things I'm going to look for is uh, pewter because pewter is like 80% animony and 10% 20% tin or something like that. I just pulled all the angle gauges out of the top row. I gotta pick them up. Well, I guess that's it for this test, and that's uh, how it's made and what I was thinking when I made it. I'll see if I can find the one that I saw on YouTube and put a link to it in the comments down there or the description. Thanks for watching.